Hi there, welcome back to TCM. I'm Alicia Malone. As we head into our Sunday evening, we have a drama from 1962 where the veteran Oscar-winning actress Olivia de Havilland plays mother to new star Yvette Mimiou. From 1962, directed by Guy Green, it's Light in the Piazza. Their characters are Margaret, the mother, and Clara, her daughter. Clara has some developmental challenges and Margaret thinks an overseas trip might be helpful, so she takes her daughter to Italy for vacation. But Margaret worries when Clara starts a romance with a handsome Italian young man played by George Hamilton. The screenplay is by Julius Epstein, adapted from a story written by Elizabeth Spencer, which had been published in the New Yorker magazine. The producer is Arthur Freed, the man responsible for many of the classic MGM musicals of the 1940s and 50s. By this time, the early 60s, Freed had signed a new contract with the studio, and this was the first movie he produced under that agreement. It was Freed who chose Julius Epstein as the writer, Guy Green as the director, and cast Olivia de Havilland in her return to the screen after a three-year absence. Meanwhile, Yvette Mimiou was already attached to the production before Guy Green had joined, and Green wasn't excited about this casting choice. However, once they were on location and started shooting, Green admitted that she sparkled in her scenes with George Hamilton and that he inspired her in this role. The interiors were filmed in England, but the real locations are beautiful. Much of the film was shot in Rome and Florence, and this production was given access to the Uffizi Art Gallery in Florence, becoming the first film to shoot inside. Also with Rosano Brazzi from 1962, let's watch Light in the Piazza. Light in the Piazza earned warm reviews from film critics who praised its adult story and delicate mix of, as Variety stated, artistic beauty, romantic substance, dramatic novelty and commercial appeal. The writer of the original story, Elizabeth Spencer, was also a fan of Light in the Piazza. She wrote a letter to Olin Clark, the story editor at MGM who had handled her work, admitting that she was terrified about how her story might be changed. But once she saw the final product, she realised producer Arthur Freed, screenwriter Julius Epstein and director Guy Green had crafted a movie that was sincere, sweet, moving and as kindly attentive to the pages as I wrote them as one's own friends might be. All right, I'll be back late tonight for TCM Imports, but keep it here on TCM. Ben Mankiewicz is up next with a couple of newspaper thrillers, starting with an account of the Washington Post's expose on President Nixon and the Watergate scandal. See you soon.